Hello guys, uh, let's keep going ahead and this time we are going to demonstrate how to interact uh, with uh, LK and have our logs uh, centralized on one single node that is going to be on the Kibana uh, application. Okay. So how this is going to work, it's basically we are going to have this LEK running on a container and this LEK means Elasticsearch, uh, Logs Dash and Kibana and also we are going to have an each container here, we are going to have an agent that in our case we are using Falebit Falebit is also a, a product of uh, Elastic, the company Elastic and yeah, basically this this agent is gonna be uh, look looking at the the log files, and every change that that have on those files, it's gonna send uh, those change to the LK server. Okay, then this LK is gonna have a log stash waiting for this for this data. It's gonna parse and insert on the on the elastic. Uh, source database okay so also uh, as I mentioned uh, in the previous video uh, we are not able to run the whole the whole architecture in our in my computer here because this is uh, use a lot of mem memory I don't have enough memory and then specifically to this uh, LK uh, container this use a lot of memory you need to uh, reserve it at least uh, 3 uh, gigas to just to run this uh, this container so we again we are going to use uh, ice uh, specific uh, docker compose to only uh, start uh, this container and this one here and uh, uh, the spring config server okay this is all you need to uh, to to have this test okay so let's uh, spin our service up and we uh, have some error Let's see here. Let's just let's just test something here first. And let's down. And put it up here. So here we are trying to uh, run the LK. Uh, this is gonna take a while, so again I'm gonna just pause and I will be back when this is finished. Looks like it is ready. So let's open Kibana and try to see if it is already sending the uh, logs to our uh, log management uh, here. Uh, here, this index should be this one here and just create and now we have many fields here I think we don't need to change anything here um, so let's go to discover and set yes so we already have here many logs because I left my application uh, with a bug here. It's 
generating many exception here and we can see all those exception here in the graph and many information here that it's sending with source and uh, the message let's see if you can go uh, inside the error itself mm, I'm not very familiar with this panel here Things like this, yeah like you can see the message here and if you need to open and uh, this is very powerful Kibana is very powerful, you can create many graphs and many filters you can have just filter that contains test I don't even have test error um, so we have a we have a ok, error test test doesn't have that error, yes, exception easily we can find and then what else we can search for example for specific application and uh, user for example user registration for user test and uh, yeah you need to go deeper in the kibana uh, for example and you can see many you can do many graphs and you can customize this uh, the best way so just summarizing that so we are here testing uh, and see in a server log management logs that it's coming from here and if you had more uh, service up, you'd have you have those logs here as well. And how this is sending? It's because you have an agent running on this on the each server. So we already covered many things in the project. I think next next thing uh, is the this this deploy server. Let's have a look what you have and how we can deploy this to the to EWS. Thank you.